All right, we're back in the studio and we still don't have the tabletops mounted to the actual brackets yet. They're kind of just sitting there. Uh, and that's because I thought I was gonna need Wifey Sauce's help to actually lift them off and, and put them back on the brackets, but I think I can do it myself. So I'm gonna move forward with actually getting these finally installed once and for all, especially now that our table locks came in. A uh, nice little handy dandy table lock. So we're gonna be mounting two of these on each side of every table. This corner desk is gonna be a little different since it's connecting to this desk at a right angle, then I'm gonna install two of the mounts, uh, two of the locks on this side. And obviously we still don't have any sort of wall here yet, so I'm not gonna install or I can't really do anything about this tabletop for now. But we should be able to permanently fix the rest of these desks to the wall today, which is really exciting because that means we'll be able to start putting stuff on the desks and start building our set, or at least this portion of the set, which is a good, a good majority. Our cable management race also arrived today, so we can actually install these underneath the desk. It just uses two strips of adhesive, I believe. They give you some adhesive tape. You run two layers across the back, and then you slap it underneath your desk. Uh, technically, you could go behind the desk as well, but I'm just gonna do it underneath. Uh, we still don't have the power strips uh, here yet. Those are still in shipping. They have uh, the mounted holes on either end, so you can actually mount them. You can screw them into the bottom of the desks as well, giving each tabletop, I think, eight outlets. Um, but yeah, for now, we'll get these installed. It's kind of a trick process, there's sort of an order of operations here. So I'm gonna take the tabletops off first. I'm gonna put them on the ground, put them on the floor. Then I'm gonna install these, put them back on the brackets, tighten all the locks, and then mark our holes for where I'm gonna drill. Then I can screw them down, and then we can install the cable raceways. So that's what we're doing today. Let's get her done. The super desk is coming along nicely, guys. It's looking good. Everything's mounted. Well, everything that can be mounted is mounted. The tables are all locked together and firmly screwed down into the brackets. You can see that we've got our table locks that went in just fine and our cable channels as well. I put two of them per desk, so we've got uh, eight of them in total so far. And of course, we'll put two more in the remaining desk when it's ready. Like I said, we don't have the power strips yet. They're coming in a few days, but once they get here, I'll probably mount them uh, parallel to the to the cable channels uh, on this side. They're not quite as long as both channels put together, but you know, they'll, they'll take up a good amount of space. And they, I think they each have eight outlets. So in total, that's 40 outlets. We're gonna have 40 power outlets for this desk, this super desk, which is, uh, pretty sweet. But apart from that, it looks like we're pretty much ready to start dressing the set. Uh, I'm gonna start filming all of our videos from this corner first, uh, initially, because this corner is not ready, obviously. So um, this is gonna be our main set for now, which is, again, the workshoppy area. We're gonna have the pegboards from the old set lining this wall. Not sure what to do with this wall yet, but we'll figure it out. There's gonna be tools and, you know, test beds and stuff over here. And as much as I wanna set up a PC area here right now, just to get something functional on this desk, I should probably wait on it until we have the pegboards installed, because otherwise that stuff's just gonna get in the way. So uh, the pegboards are not here. They are actually still mounted on the wall 
at our house. So I need to go back home at some point, get those, bring them back here, and then mount them on the wall. But in the meantime, I don't feel like going home yet, so I'm going to do something else. It's still exciting. Computer cart. Computer car. Da -da -da -da. Oh, it's it's just as glorious as I envisioned. I absolutely love it. It went together really easy. It took maybe 10, 15 minutes to put it all together. I think there were only like eight screws involved uh, with the whole thing, and it feels really sturdy. Typical U-line quality. Very rugged. Seems very durable. The casters roll and, and glide very nicely. I wouldn't take it to the go kart track, but you know it does the job. But up top, we've got my fancy BenQ workstation monitor. This thing's an absolute beast and totally overkill for this computer cart, but whatever panel I eventually replace this with will be a 4K display, just like this one is, uh, because A, I want the, the screen real estate, and B, if I ever happen to use this cart for like a, as a secondary testing setup or something like that, it's good to have uh, as many resolutions as possible. No 21 by nine resolutions here, an ultra wide monitor would look kind of funny on this thing. I mean, this honking thing already looks kind of funny. It's like overspilling on the sides and stuff. It's, it's just too big. I need a smaller 4K display here, but uh, just a basic little, you know, cooler master mouse, nothing too fancy. Uh, beautiful Bitwit mouse pad, of course, very fancy. And pull out keyboard. Again, not very fancy. This is like a cheap, no-name mechanical keyboard that I got on Amazon, but it's perfect for this. Uh, it's 10 keyless as well. Cables down here, very messy, but I don't care because you can't really see them. That shelf is so is so short anyway. By the way, you can adjust the height of this cart. You can make it like a sitting cart or a standing cart. I've chosen to make it a sitting cart, um, or you know, it could be a standing cart for me too, because I am very short. But uh, you can see that uh, it does have a couple different holes here that you can adjust it with. Unfortunately, you can't adjust the height on the fly very easily. It has uh, screws and bolts, so it, it wouldn't be very practical to switch back and forth between sitting and standing at this cart. But fortunately, I plan to use it only when I'm sitting anyway, so it doesn't matter. Like I said before, the casters are really high quality. The the front two casters actually have brakes on them, so if you need to make it stationary, that's it's very convenient. And then over here, integrated power strip, three port power strip. I already got the monitor plugged in, and I believe this is a 15 foot cord, so plenty of length there. So there it is, there's my new computer cart, and I love it. It's adorable. Somehow it's already almost 7 p.m. Uh, time flies when you're screwing with confidence. Uh, but the last thing I'll do for today, and this is not a huge thing, but definitely needs to be done, is set up the editing bay. It's looking a little disheveled. Wifey Sauce was editing on this the other day and uh, it was working out, but it's, it's pretty messy in here. I'm gonna organize things. There's two tables, two of the old tables or desks right there that we're gonna bring in here. Uh, so this desk with the two, the white, the white Ikea things, uh, that's gonna go in this room, I think. I'll arrange that, get it all set up, have it nice and organized so it's a bit more streamlined to work in here, and then we'll call it a day. Here's the editing bay, or at least the progress we've made on it so far. So this is all tentative. This is all probably gonna change. We just needed something to be functional and up and running so we can edit here on a whim. Um, but uh, it's, it's definitely not ideal. So for example, you probably saw in the time lapse that I initially had the PC on the left because I thought it just utilized the space better, um, but it was uh, the cables weren't long enough. Particularly the mouse and keyboard cables would not reach the PC comfortably. So we'll have to get some extensions for that because right now I just don't like how this 
this monitor is cutting into this table, it makes it hard to access whatever we're gonna put back there. So that'll probably get flipped and cable management is atrocious right now. Actually, it's worse It's worse up top than it is below because these desks do have the, uh, the IKEA cable management trays on each of them, which is handy. But uh, yeah, up here, because the, the cables are so short from our peripherals and stuff, um, it's just not looking that great. So we'll have to take care of that as well. Oh yeah, as far as like the rest of this room, it's still very echoey in here, as I'm sure you guys can tell, sorry. I plan to do something about that, maybe put some of those um, those those wall panels that I had that I showed you guys in a previous video. Maybe I'll put them up here. There's six of them in total, so I think maybe two on each wall, um, or I could even purchase more of them. They look nice too, so they would even add some color and character to the room. Right now the desks are just standing on their legs, so they're they're pretty wobbly. These are fairly, wobbly tables. Um, I do have some L brackets at home that we're using for our other office desks, which we won't need soon. So I'll be installing those probably on, you know, two on each of these tables, uh, basically L bracketing them to the wall for stability and maybe even using some more table locks to bridge these two tables for, for uh, additional sturdiness. I also kind of want to put floating shelves like all the way around this room. So just, just, you know, right above the monitors and stuff so we can have it for additional storage or even more decor if we want to liven up the place a bit. Now this corner is kind of a mess. I haven't done diddly squat over here you can see we've got a bunch of empty boxes kind of just pushed up against the window for shade because we don't have blinds yet um, but once that's gone I'm probably not gonna put anything in front of the window I'll just just let it be like that in case we want some additional sunlight but maybe file cabinet you know underneath here and then I don't know more storage and shelving and stuff over here we, we can never have too much storage these two boxes are actually full and everything in there belongs in these white cabinets, which you can see are, are still wrapped up and haven't been mounted. These two cabinets actually get mounted to the wall. So once those are there and those are, you know, in place and stuff, then we can unpack those two boxes, fill that space up. This is going to be wifey sauces area, her little desk area. And that's, that's it. That's where we're at now. Stay tuned for the next one. I think next time we're going to do the, uh, the pegboards. We're going to install the pegboards here. So really start decorating the set. In the meantime, I'll start thinking about what to do with this area. You guys let me know what you think about that. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just, we'll just keep this train going. You guys know the drill. Toss a like before you head out, get subscribed for more tech content on the way and check out our merchandise store, bitwit.tech. We've got a lot of stuff there. Those super sexy desk mats are coming soon. It could take a few weeks because of delays with COVID-19 and stuff, but I reassure you, they'll be on the store soon enough. As always guys, thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying these vlogs so far. More content soon to come. Stay tuned for that and I will see you guys in the next video.